Welcome, welcome, boys. Okay, in this video, we're going to be diagnosing a problem with the automatic headlights in this town car. <clears throat> so, this problem's been going on for months, but I only recently got a day off, that day being Thanksgiving, where the pick and pull was actually open till 1. So I managed to get in there and snag some parts. Not everything I needed, but I got one of the things I needed, which is this sensor for the automatic headlights. The sunlight sensor. So I'm going to show you what the problem has been with this and how to fix it. That is where the sensor sits, right there in the middle of the dash. Okay, the switch is in the automatic position. It's broad daylight out and we're going to start the car. Now we're going to go outside and take a peek see at some stuff. As you can see, the taillights are illuminated. So are the headlights and the parking lights. So you might be saying, well, how do you know it's not the switch, Hollywood? Well, <laughs> let me put you down and I'll flip the switch into the off position and then you tell me what you think. That's off. And the headlights are off. So are the parking lights, so are the taillights. So let's try on. Parking lights only, and you can see the parking lights are on. That is headlights on. So headlights are on, parking lights are now on. So we know that it is the light sensor, not the switch. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the switch back into the on position and shut the car off, and then we will go ahead and fix this thing. Now we're not going to need many tools for this job, this is all we're going to need. Our spare sensor, I pulled from a wrecked car, I took two of them just in case this one doesn't work. Um, one of them, the switch was already removed from the town car so I couldn't tell, but the, one, the other one that I grabbed, the switch was in the automatic position. Uh, on that junkyard car, which would imply that the automatic lights, the automatic lights worked, that's why it was selected automatic so following that logic at least one of my spare switches here should work but we're going to need a pry tool two just in case a long seven mil and the short seven mil this is going to be what takes these two bolts out maybe seven mil here and a seven mil here while the switch is in the dash so once you remove the plastic cover we're going to loosen that and then once i break it loose i can use this big one to fit my fingers down in here and work it the rest of the way and we'll go ahead and show you what that looks like while the car's warming up because it's like 30 degrees out. It's two days after Thanksgiving, a couple days out from December. So I'll show you what we're going to do and then uh, you'll watch me do it. Okay, so while my car is warming up here so I don't freeze to death and to uh, lower the risk of breaking anything, <clears throat> I'll explain you exactly what we're going to do and then. I think I'll mount you guys on the hood and then you'll be looking into the windshield from that way as I think that's going to be the best way for you to see what I'm doing as the windshield's kind of low so I can't put the camera above it and if I put it behind me inside the car you're just going to see me in the way. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to take your pry tool and this part of the dash doesn't need to be touched. This plastical part is what needs to be removed. So what we're going to do is you're going to see me put the pry tool in this corner. You're going to see there's just enough of a gap. Well, maybe you can see it with that reflection. Probably not. Um, maybe you can. Maybe you can't. All right. Well, <clears throat> what we're going to do is get it in through here. You'll be able to see it better if when you start this you're standing and you're looking through the windshield and poking it through like this. And as this comes through it's going to pop up and then you're just going to slide this pick, this pry tool rather, down in between this crack here and then you're just going to keep popping it up on each one of those connectors uh, that are kind of clamping it in place. Pop, 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 pop all the way down the windshield. Once you get all the way down you're going to lift up slightly, like just enough to clear this dash, 
and then you can pull it straight. That plastical piece, you can pull it straight out of there so that it's not, it doesn't touch the A-pillar and damage it or anything. You don't want it damaging this. You don't have to take the A-pillar off. You just need to lift it up enough. And you can slide it perfectly straight out. And then we're gonna take the two seven mils off. That's gonna come out. We're gonna do the, the electrical connector. It's got a little squishy tab, so you just squish it and pull. We're gonna put the new one in, and then we're gonna test it before we put everything back together to make sure that the automatic lights work. And then once they do, put the seven mils back in, and then just slide that plastic piece back on, and then snap, 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 all the way down. And we're done. So it's as easy as that, and I'll set you up on the hood, and you'll be looking through the windshield. Check it out, boys. She's in automatic mode, and those lights are not on. So I'll uh, set you down and go flip the switches. I actually moved the car as well, because I was like, you know what, just in case it's too uh, dark on this side of the house, backed it out into the sun. And so it actually does work. That sensor I just put in is good. And while I was having everything apart, I went ahead and put the other sensor in too. So now I know both those sensors I pulled from the parts cars are good because they do both turn off in automatic mode so I'll go ahead and flip through the cycles and then I'll try to yell so you can hear me which mode we're in so we're currently in automatic this is off parking lights only headlights on parking lights only off automatic you might be saying, well, how do we know automatic actually works? Well, let me go ahead and cover up the sensor then and you'll see the lights come on. Yep, and now they're on. So I just covered up the sensor, they're on. I'll uncover it again, I'll see them turn off. Get that boom done, success. Buka. All right, boys and girls, now you just snap your thing back in and you're good to go. So, hope you enjoyed. Hopefully that helps. And if you have any more problems, issues like that, that's how you fix it then. So, a nice, easy repair. Thanks for watching, boys. Peace.